We got some breaking news out of Detroit. Planned killing spree in Detroit area leaves two dead, police say. Two people were killed Thursday in the Detroit area after police said a gunman launched a planned killing spree, opening fire at two separate businesses. The suspect, only identified as a 45-year-old man from Sterling Heights, is in police custody. One person was shot and killed at a trucking business, BSD Lion Hall, Inc., in Taylor, Michigan, around 10.30 a.m. after the suspect walked in with a semi-automatic weapon and started shooting, according to investigators. Police said the suspect then held a gun to a truck driver's head, stole his semi-trailer truck, and drove off. Nearly an hour later, a second person was fatally shot at a second business, Aluminum Blanking Company, Inc., in Pontiac, Oakland, Sheriff County, Michael Boucher said. The suspect then went to a third business, Assured Carriers in Waterford, around 20 minutes later. He asked for someone by name before he left in the truck around 11.50 a.m., police said. At 11.52 a.m., police said the suspect stopped the truck, shot at Waterford police officers, got back in the truck, and drove off. Minutes later, the suspect got into a car accident with two young ladies who suffered non-life-threatening injuries before getting out of the truck and again shot at law enforcement. The suspect was shot by police and taken to the hospital where he is expected to survive. It was the Wild West out there for a little bit, Bochard said. Police have not yet identified the victim fatally shot at BSD Lion Hall, but according to Fox 2, said he is a 60-year-old man who is a relative of the business owner and worked in management. The victim killed at the second shooting scene in Pontiac was identified as Eroberto Perez, 58. Police said he was shot multiple times in the back, and according to WWJ-TV, Investigators believe he was specifically targeted. Wow, targeted. But it remains unclear what their connection was. The suspect appeared to know exactly where he was going, went directly into this building, made turns and through doors, and engaged as one person only and then left, Butcher said. The sheriff said he thinks the suspect had a list of people that had grieved him in the past and he was going to kill them. Damn. There were multiple tragedies today, and there probably would have been a whole lot more had it not been for sound police work. The suspect was a disgruntled employee who had had problems previously at BSD Lion Hall, Taylor Police Chief John Blair said, according to WDIV TV. It appears today he came back for some sort of vengeance. An employee at the third location assured carriers told WWJ that he came face to face with the suspect who told him he wasn't looking for him. He was standing right there and said, what are you doing? And I could hardly understand him. But I think he told me, he said, I'm not looking for you. Nick very, he told the station. And that's when I slammed the door in his face and locked the door. Very, he said the suspect was just a normal truck driver who did local trucking for the company. He said there weren't any issues with the suspect, but added he quit his job with the company twice and he was rehired twice. Authorities recovered an AK-47 semi-automatic assault rifle and multiple, multiple 30 round magazines, damn, were taped together, Butcher said, and stated the incident was clearly a planned killing spree. Bouchard said the suspect was recently out on a $5,000 bond after being arrested for assault with a deadly weapon and felony firearm in December 2017. Uh, yeah, that's the latest. Um, hopefully I have more for you later. But yeah, that's, 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 that's wild. That's wild, we're on the killing spree. Just riding around with a list, just going to kill people who I guess they said got on his damn nerves. But um, that's it. I'll holler at you on the next video. Thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Peace. Take care.